What is going on, Swayze Gang? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm thrilled to have you join me for today's video because, well, we're going to be comparing the red key to the black key on the 2020 Hellcat. <laughs> location where we're going to run this experiment I wanted to briefly talk about why I'm doing this video even though there's a pretty good amount of other youtubers who have covered this topic in the past well for one I want to give you guys my take and my opinion on it I try to keep things as true and as real as possible so hopefully that provides you guys a little bit more context but I would also like to run a few more experiments that I haven't seen other youtubers run in their videos and I think it'd be good information for you guys to have now to finish off this video I'm going to do a comparison between the black key which if you guys are not aware limits the horsepower to a puny 500 ponies and I'm going to compare that to my 2017 scat pack that I owned which had 485 horsepower so essentially if you use the black heat you're supposed to have very similar power to a scat pack which is still absurdly high but it's meant to be used if you give the car to like a valet or a service person even though that is still an insane amount of power to give to somebody but I think it's an awesome marketing tool and kudos to Dodge for doing that so the first First test we're going to run is like the standard and that's going to be with the red key and if you guys are not aware that is 717 horsepower on my 2020 Hellcat and then we're going to run every other test basing it off of the 0 to 60 time of the red key. Now I want you to keep in mind that I am not a professional drag racer or anything like that and the conditions I'm actually working with right now is uh, 35 degree weather and snow and ice on the road. So this is not going to be my best zero to 60 time. And I'm probably gonna do a video this summer doing a test of trying to get the best zero to 60 time that I can in this Hellcat. But for today's purposes, the red key zero to 60 test is just going to be a base that I can judge all of the other tests on. So if I get a comment from somebody saying, you know, my four cylinder Civic can do a better zero to 60 time than your Hellcat, that may be possible, but I encourage you to try it at these conditions in this elevation and this air temperature. So just keep that in mind if I run a very poor zero to 60 time, it's just gonna be used as a base for all of the other tests we're gonna run in today's video. But anyways, enough chit chat. Let's get to the destination, which will be there in about three, two, one. Alrighty, we just got to the ultra top secret testing location. We've got the GoPro mounted so we can get the front footage. We're actually going to start with the red key. Like I said earlier, this is going to be the base test that we're going to compare everything else to. One thing to note is I actually have both the red key and the black key in my pocket right now. So just to prove to you that I have 717 horsepower, I pulled up the SRT dashboard. And as you can see here, I have the red key and the black key, but it defaults to red with 717 horsepower. So let's start this test and see what we're gonna base everything else off of. Alrighty, so definitely not the best one I've done before, but I got a 5.1 to 60 on that last one. So recent was 5.1. What I'm actually going to do now, before I switch to the black key, I'm actually going to adjust the horsepower on the screen, and that is going to limit it to 500 horsepower. So you don't have to have the black key to have 500 horsepower. You can adjust that even when you have the red key, and let me show you how to do that. So on the 2020 Hellcat wide body, you're gonna hit the SRT button, and that's going to take you to this page over here. Where you're gonna go is the drive modes. And as you can see here, you have all the different powers. What you can do is you can hit the power and adjust it to 500 horsepower. And so even though I have the red key, I'm limited to 500. Looks like I can't even change it to track and sport modes. It just stays on street mode and it's limited to 500. So now let's see what kind of zero to 60 we get with limited to 500 horsepower with the red key. All right, that actually wasn't too bad at all. I got a 5.3 to 
zero to 60, which is almost identical. It was 5.1 before, but that was with the red key. This is red key with 500 horsepower, 5.3. It really isn't that bad. And I felt like I got a little bit better traction we're actually gonna run that one more time and I'm gonna put pedal to the floor because I was a little bit more gradual like I do with the full 717 horsepower. So we're gonna do that with like a pedal to the floor and see if I can still get a 5.3 or maybe I can get even better than that. Okay, well, that was insane. Uh, I didn't really slip at all like I do with 717 ponies. I did a 5.00 to 60. Uh, that's really crazy. If you guys recall the video where I did my first full send in this car, I think I got about 4.8 as my best time. Now the temperature and the weather conditions were a little bit better. So it's almost a wash between the 500 horsepower and the 717 horsepower, at least when I'm using the red key. What we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna leave this red key outside. Hopefully nobody steals it. And we're gonna run this test with the black key to see if it's going to be exactly the same or not. Alrighty, so we just left the red key outside. We're gonna restart the car and it should say black key in use. Uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it does not. Uh, looks like it didn't tell me, but we can check on this screen. And as you can see, we're limited to 500 horsepower and I don't even have the option of 717. If I click on that, it says 717 power is not available while the black key is in use. So that just goes to show that I am using the black key, that's proof. What we're gonna do now is do a few runs with the black key and see if it makes a big difference as compared to the red key with the 500 ponies. And then we'll come back here and hopefully the key is still there. All right. Uh, in all honesty, I give up. I got a five second zero to 60. I've run like fives pretty much two times in a row, one with the red key with 500 horsepower and one with the black key with 500 horsepower. And this already beats the red key zero to 60 that I did at the beginning of this video. So I have no idea what I'm doing, obviously, but uh, five seconds zero to 60 is what I just got with the black key and the 500 horsepower. Now I wanted to see if I can actually change this to sport mode Nope, looks like I have to have the red key. That was actually going to be one of the tests I did, was trying in sport mode. We can try doing that with the suspension and the steering and run this test one more time, but looks like that is the only thing I can change, is suspension, steering, and then the paddle shifters on off. Everything else is set to the 500, the street for the transmission, and street for the traction whenever you're using the black key. All right, let's do one last run and see what we can do. All right, I don't even know what to say. That was my best time so far in any key, and that was 4.9 seconds. That's just insane. I don't even know what to make of this. I think it just goes to show that it doesn't really matter what key you use, you're gonna get a very similar performance. Now, obviously my first run with the red key was not perfect, and that was kind of the purpose of this test. I wasn't trying to go for the best time with the red key. I was just doing, hey, this is what it is, straight off the line. And how does the black key or the 500 horsepower compare to that? And obviously Obviously, it really does not make a big difference. So if you're planning on giving your valet a black key in hopes that they're gonna do like an over seven seconds, zero to 60, well, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. They can get just as much power with the black key. Now, the big caveat to this is if you take it to a drag strip, the horsepower will really make a big impact at the higher speed. So if you're hitting 60, 70, 80, 90 miles per hour, that's when you'll probably feel a lot of that horsepower and that's where 500 horsepower may be a lot weaker than a 717 horsepower car. And that's why it would be interesting to see what the quarter mile time is between the red key and the black key. Unfortunately, I would run that test, but the drag strip we had here closed down a few years ago. So I'd have to go out of state to be able to run this experiment. But when I do make it to a drag strip, I will try to run that test and see what the difference is. Because from a zero to 60 standpoint, there's really no difference between the two. So when you take it to a service or a restaurant valet or anything like that, I would just keep the red key because they can do just as much damage with the black key as they can with the red key. Now, before I keep talking, let me quickly go grab my red key outside because I don't want anybody to steal it.
All right, thank God it was there. All right, now I wanna talk about how the Hellcat compares with 500 horsepower versus my Scat Pack with 485. And if you guys ever did see the video where I did a few different zero to 60 tests on my Scat Pack, you'll recall that the best time I was able to get was 5.7 seconds. Now keep in mind, the conditions were completely different. It was the middle of summer, it was hot, I was at a little bit of a different elevation. And so obviously a few different milliseconds is understandable. But even considering this information, the Hellcat with 500 horsepower was still able to get 4.9 seconds zero to 60, which is really impressive. For most of my runs with the Scat Pack, obviously the best time was 5.8, but most of my runs were actually closer to like six seconds. And so going from six to 4.9 or five seconds flat, is a pretty big difference and makes me think that the 500 horsepower Hellcat is still more powerful than a 485 horsepower Scat Pack. Like I said earlier, perhaps at the drag strip, it would be a little bit more comparable between the Scat Pack and the Hellcat with 500 ponies. But zero to 60, a 500 horsepower Hellcat is still quicker than a 485 horsepower Scat Pack. I think a lot of that has to do with the supercharger and the tuning and the suspension, but regardless what it is, there is a difference between the two. And to wrap up this video, in all honesty, I felt like my zero to 60 time felt a little bit more consistent with the 500 horsepower setting because I was able to get a little bit better traction. I felt like at 717 horsepower, it sends so much power to the rear wheels that it just doesn't give you enough time to grip. Whereas if you have the 500 horsepower, it seems a little bit more gradual in the power delivery to the rear wheels. So you're able to get some better times. So if you're just doing like stoplight racing or competing against like a Mustang or a Camaro or something like that, I would recommend almost leaving it in the 500 horsepower mode because from a dead stop you might be doing a little bit better with the black key and or 500 horsepower setting now a quick correction to what I said earlier with the red key a few months ago when I did my full send I was able to get 4.4 seconds so I think in certain conditions you can obviously get better times with the red key but with the black key or 500 horsepower I was able to get five 4.9, 5.1 consistently time after time. Whereas with the red key, when I did this test back a few months ago, I went from 4.4 to 4.8 to 5.1. It's a much larger difference between the two. Those are just my thoughts. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I was definitely surprised that there really isn't that big of a difference from a personal feeling perspective to the numbers perspective when you're comparing 500 horsepower to 717. If you guys did enjoy today's video, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like but leave a comment down below on what you enjoyed the most and what your thoughts are on the subject and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already that way you can stay on top of all of the weekly hellcat videos also find me on instagram at schwazy underscore and on tiktok with the same handle like always stay schwazy stay healthy and have a wonderful day